Welcome back to Morning After, everyone. It is 1023 here on this Thursday morning. We want to thank the Allen Americans for being a sponsor here on Morning After. They are halfway through the hockey season. Austin Larson is the manager of New Business. Phil uh, Below is the Allen Americans defenseman joining us in studio um, halfway through the season. Austin, I'm going to start with you. you. You have your job to get the name out there and to sort of rally folks to, to, to attend and be part of the brand. How's it going so far this year? I feel like it's going pretty well. I mean, we're a minor league team. We're in Allen. We play at the Credit Union uh, Texas Event Center. So, uh, I mean, it's exciting hockey. I personally, um, I moved down from Oklahoma, but I applied for this job and I watched the playoff game and it was electric. I mean, from the big hits, goal scored, and something that's really cool that I saw, and it was even better in person. Mm -hmm. um, so our fans say, go red. And <laughs> so when we score a goal, they turn the whole event center red everybody's going nuts and they play the song don't stop living in the red so then everybody winding up riding up and then everybody goes red 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 and it just it's what crazy. is that again i'm sorry the audio guy loved that <laughs> 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 what but isn't that what it's about phil it's about like creating there, there's a picture of it isn't it's about creating an experience it's it's also about winning i know that's important but you look at that and you're thinking it's about bringing people together to invest in something bigger than themselves. Do you feel that when you're out there on the ice? Absolutely. I mean, as a player, you want the fans to be involved. That's a huge part of the game. Um, you know, the louder, louder the fans are, the more they're into it. The more mm -hmm. we get into it, we want to play for them. And uh, Allen's got one of the best atmospheres I've been a part of. So this is this is your second season, right? Correct. So did you arrive sort of mid-pandemic, pre-pandemic? Where were you on the timeline of right all that? Of I mean, last year, I mean, you couldn't go to the rink without getting your you know, your temperature checked and, uh, you know, COVID tests every week. Yeah. Um, so it was pretty crazy, but our organization handled it pretty well and, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Times are the way they are. And uh, like I said, this organization handled it well. What did you know about the team? What did you know about Dallas? You were recruited, I know, from <clears throat> Minnesota. Were you, you had, I would presume, other options? You looked at this. And what was the draw for you to make this part of your career trajectory? Um, you know, Allen's had four championships you know, in their 10 years of being a team. Yeah. So that speaks for itself. I mean, great coach and Steve Martinson, you know, great organization from training staff all the way up to the front office. So kind of a no-brainer for me. I've had friends that played here before and heard nothing but good things and kind of want to get away from the cold weather in Minnesota where <laughs> I'm from. So it's a nice change for me. Yeah, have you? so have you talked to your family about what the weather is there right now? <laughs> oh, yeah, all the time. They're there's there's just... how much snow and how much yeah. below zero. <laughs> they hate hearing about how I'm doing down here. Yeah, I think where I'm from in Maine, it's like 14 inches of snow and minus yeah. 10 or something. Um, is it easier for you with this winning team, the record that they have, even though established in 2009, to recruit, to begin to expand the brand? Yeah, I mean, I would say so. I mean, obviously, we have a winning culture, so that's something we take pride in. But another thing we take pride in, and we got to get creative. We're a minor league hockey team in Allen. Mm -hmm. we got to compete with the Stars, so we do. Uh, we take pride in our theme nights. So this Saturday, on January 29th, we have a Star Wars night. So it, there's going to be, you know, in-game activations that kids to adults can play with. Um, Stormtroopers are going to be walking around. Is it going to be like the Star Wars bar? The Star Wars bar? Where it's like an eclectic mix of like everybody. I would think it kind of is in a way. Like it's all walks of life. Like come one, come all. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, Stormtroopers walking around, they're going to be wearing Star Wars jerseys. We want people to dress up whether you are the biggest fanatic of Star Wars to, yeah, you've seen one movie out of the, what, 10, 15 movies they created. Um, you know, we want everybody to come out. And it'll be a lot, of, a lot of fun for everyone. All right, halfway through the season, what's your hope for the remainder of the season, Phil? Uh, you know, got to finish strong. I mean, the whole beginning of the season is all leading up to the playoffs, and that's what, you know, you want to be working for. The and whole where time. are you in that ranking? I mean, forgive me, I want you to tell our viewers, because I'm not fully aware. Where are you in terms of on that path? How do you feel about where you are? Well, you know, we're not where we want to be right now. But like I said, the whole season is just to prepare you for the playoffs, and we're right there in the middle of the standings, and, you know, we can compete with the best of them. And yeah. With COVID going on, it's just, you know, adds a little delay sometimes losing players and that. Well, I was going to say, I mean, just because you may not be where you want to be necessarily doesn't mean that it's not still an amazing experience right. for the fans. And I'm mm -hmm. sure um, as we hopefully come out of this latest surge of the Omicron variant that you, you're seeing that mm -hmm. in the stands with, 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 the, with the attendance. Uh, yes and no, honestly. People ask about it, whether they have to wear a mask or have mm -hmm. a vaccine or anything like that. But... There's not really a bunch of – everybody's excited to come watch the Americans because last season, you know, not as – with every sport, not as many people could come out. But now 
full capacity. Everybody's coming out. Everybody's having a blast. I mean, we're having very large crowds, I'd say, each and every night. No, and I would say that you signal, too, um, and, and our indication of the growth in this area of, of the country. Mm -hmm. Allen, Frisco, um, you know, with, with, with the stars, and, or I should say the star, um, all of that is sort of drawing people here. I mean, I think Frisco at one point, 10 years ago, was the fastest growing city in America. Yeah. You all continue to be a part of that. So thank you for being a part of our show as well, for being a sponsor here on Morning After. We want to let you know for ticket information, there's the number you call, 972-912-1000, allenamericans.com. Of course, they're all over social media. And we'll be back.